Good morning, everybody. Oh, it's Wednesday, and whatever. It, my my internal moniker for today is whatever Wednesday. It's kind of just whatever I feel like playing, or whatever someone suggested I play. And the last game that I was suggested that I play was Breath of Fire One on the GBA by my pal Mochizuki, who you should definitely go check out. She does really good streams of stuff like Warframe and Splatoon 3, and she's just a delightful, delightful person anyway. But regardless of that, that was the last game I was suggested, and the game I was suggested now is, funnily enough, while I was playing it yesterday, <laughs> good, good long, fairly, f friend Nakora was like, oh yeah, this is a cool game, you should probably play this more often. I was like, oh, alright. I like this game anyway, so <laughs> don't gotta tell me twice. So, so in that vein, we're gonna be starting playing Hydroneer on Wednesdays. And it's just like a fun, no, no stress, no combat, no nothing, building game where you deal with dirt and. Well, you'll. I'll probably explain more of it as we go. I'm gonna start a new file so, compared to yesterday, just because this is an actual first real stream of it but before we get down and dirty uh, I'm still f trying to fundraise to help my friend Hachiko get his own place well not his own place but he's he's trying to get back on his feet and he's trying to get into a new place with some other folks and he needs help with the deposit so any help with that helps me tremendously because I care a lot about the old the old sucker, <laughs> and <laughs> I, I'm bad at these, but regardless, I have his coffee link on my layout, and I have commands for it, and at some point, there's going to be like a, a, probably a GoFundMe made for it, and I'll transition to using that instead when the arm comes, but for now, if you want to help, use the coffee link. Thank you so much. All right, so... <clears throat> hmm. There's normally supposed to be music. Oh, there it is. Okay, well. So you start off at the Ember Cradle here with a lantern, a shovel, a pan, a brush, a bucket, and a cart. In a dream. What's that dream? Uh. -huh. <laughs> but what we're gonna need to, want, want to do first is let's get this full of water. Our initial purchase is gonna want to be water pipes. As the well, at least in my opinion, the first thing you should buy are water pipes so that you can automate the digging process as much as possible. Alright, so we're going to start by digging a nice little hole here. And you pour, you get, you get, if you can, you can put, you can put dirt directly into the, the pan here. But if you do th if you do it with this bucket, you can pour p four scoops in instead of one, so you can get bigger sized lumps. Ooh, we got two. We got more than one thing from that. It's pretty sweet. Okay. And initially, we're gonna use this bucket to get a little bit more water, and then we'll scoop out some more. Yep, this is just a nice chill game. It was it was just a nice contrast to me finishing uh, Tales of Legenda yesterday, because like the final boss shorts. Not only did you have to fight her twice without being able to restock or heal between, but like like that, bo that boss fight was reasonably difficult. Oh, what am I doing? 
Trying to be gentle with this bucket because I've had I've had a, a glitch happen where the bucket just starts gyrating and flying away on its own accord. It's really funny, but I don't don't can't really afford the bucket to be doing that right now, you know. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, until we have <clears throat> a way, any sort of way to get water to this pan without us doing it manually, we're going to have to do it manually. And frankly, this little bucket's a little easier to haul around and do stuff with. Like, we'll just go ahead and. Because you can just drop it right in the water, and it works great. Okay, there's a shard. Let's pick that out because it's not worth any money anyway, so. <clears throat> yes, you saw that, right? The bucket was upside down on the ground, but it still had the water in it. It's just dedicated. It's just very dedicated to its job. <laughs> Let's drop this in and see how deep we are. Oh, well. <laughs> Hole not very big. That's okay. We did a lot of this kind of like intro stuff in the uh, first stream. Like the first, the, the, I streamed this for like an hour yesterday after Legendia, and we did a lot of this er, like super early game stuff then too. But I was I was admittedly a little more frazzled from dealing with not only Legendia's nonsense, but OBS deciding it wanted to like just fry a little bit. Like, during all, like, the credits and cinematics and all that, which upset me a little bit, I'll be honest. <sighs> Thankfully, I locally recorded it so I can figure out a way to, like, get that, like, whole section viewable. Even if OBS decided it didn't want to make it that way. Okay... Frankly, that's probably enough stuff to kind of go sell and get some stuff, but I just want to get another bucket or two worth of stuff. Because if I could also afford to get the, uh, the, the pickaxe, too, that would uh, be great. that would let me dig dig our little hole as deep as it can go because there are different uh, claims that you can unlock by paying money for them that go much deeper than this place does. This place only goes down like by like, five like units basically. I think some of them go down at least to like 22 and you, and you need like bombs or new or TNT to get done as far as you can and stuff but uh, let's see how much this is we'll, we'll leave this gym alone cuz with that we could make some jewelry later all right we're gonna leave the cart at the store here cuz this cart is slower than us sprinting so we don't want to take it up there to the uh to the jewelry where we'll be selling our metals but we want to have it here so when we go to buy stuff like pipes where we can just load them all in there there is a upgraded cart that goes that goes as fast as you do when you sprint that i would like to buy if possible just because it makes us getting stuff Around much better. Ooh, that's not a bad amount for our first pan. Let's 
grab our money, put it in a little barrel. Nice. All right, so let's let's do some mental math here. Fifty of that is gonna be these pipes. Huh? Me too, buddy. Huh? <laughs> Okay, that's 50 of it gone. Can't remember if this was enough water to be usable, but we're gonna buy this stuff, and that should be j just under our money that we have to spend. Uh, we could probably afford another pipe, too. Unfortunately, we can't afford can't afford the pickaxe as well otherwise I would so we're gonna just go ahead and buy another pipe and just under budget <clears throat> all right and then we'll grab the cart from over there like I'm a like a magician <laughs> oh I'm a damn fool I need the I need an intake as well so yeah it's all this stuff is like not really worth a shit yet because I need the in the water intake to you know even do anything with it so we're gonna have to do a little bit more panning to get money for that at the end of the world I'm just a fool I should have not bought one of those straight pipes and bought an intake but eh at the end of the world we're gonna it's not like we're done digging manually with by uh hand anyway we still got plenty of that to go what it so whatever we'll just do two uh, buckets worth of dirt and then we'll go sell that stuff I'm trying to get some of the stuff from near the bottom but it's hard to really see where that actually is at this point. <laughs> I'd really like if I could get some gold, that would... The second I see like some gold, I'll likely just go sell what I have, because that probably help, that would help boost the value significantly. Because as you may as you may be able to infer just by how normally things work, gold is a little bit more valuable than iron is. Was that a gold in there? All right, cool. I'd say that's good enough. Uh, well, we'll do the same song the dancer did before. <clears throat> so we'll snatch our little bear, a little bear, not barrel, our little pan, and just go on a run. Fifty bucks, not bad. It will do. If I would have gotten luckier and gotten more gold, I might have been able to even afford the pickaxe as well right now. But my only real uh, objective at this very second is to get the water intake, which is. 36. Fine. <laughs> Come on, whatever. Oh, it's it's technically in the thing, even though it's like literally on the side of the car. You know what? Cool. Works for me. Let's go.
Come on. Gotta say the uh, the placement stuff in this game can be a little iffy. I have a plan. You can just kind of place dirt wherever you want within reason. So we are going to do this to temporarily give a, like we need at least like another pipe to make this more easy, easier to do. <sighs> because Cutting, like doing this to get water to drip like that, cuts down on labor so that we can focus more time on scooping dirt and cleaning and all that stuff, you know? Because now we don't have to do the whole step of throwing the bucket in the river and, you know, all that crap. <laughs> Get our, we just get our bucket, fill it with dirt. <clears throat> can I, can, will, will the lantern help me now? <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, well, we can definitely see down there now. Let's see. It, it, it is a little harder to see <laughs> the um the stuff, but we're gonna do one more bucket's worth. On one hand, it's great that we already got some of these, but on the other hand, these could have been like, I don't know, something we could sell for money. But it's not the end of the world, because we can just scoop more dirt. Alrighty, we'll go sell this and hopefully this is like at least like 80. Oh, that's more than enough. Nice. Kind of overshot that a little bit even. Because we, we want to buy the, uh, we want to buy this camp bed. Because that will let us pass by the night that's going to be coming very soon. And then we're going to want to buy this little uh, dull pickaxe. Ooh, do we have enough money for that? Eight, one, eight, we have 18 there.
Okay, where's the little shot of it? There it is. 150, and that costs up oh, just barely. Just barely. We keep just skirting these costs by the skin of our freaking teeth. Well, that pickaxe is a lot more expensive than I thought it was. Thought it was like 42 bucks, but no, that's like a lot more. Okay, well, good thing that I got just so happened to like. And still, that's. We still just need a little bit more to buy the pipe, but I needed to get this bed. So that we could, uh, skip the night, because, as you may be able to guess, it's a little dark and hard to see what's going on. Granted, it's still going to be a little dark when it wakes up anyway, because, like, the bed in this game, like, doesn't skip it enough time for my liking. Like, it's still really dark. <laughs> But, at the very least, it'll get lighter before long. Alright, let's grab our little pickaxe. Grab our little water pan. Good enough. It, it will suffice. Alright, we're gonna start just kind of chopping away at this hole a little bit. We'll dig some of the dirt that's like I unearthed right here. Just because, I mean, it's not great dirt. Like, none of this is really great dirt per se, but, like, it's still better than the stuff on the surface, so. It's all about managing your expectations. My main thing is I just don't want to fall. I mean, there is a unstuck button if you do, like, fall in a hole or something and just need to get out. But, like... Ideally, we won't have to do that. <laughs> We'll do another we'll do two more buckets and then we'll go sell this and hopefully be able to buy the pipe and some more some of those blocks so we can start getting down there and doing stuff for real. Cause the scenery came down to like the better dirt, just the you get more money from just doing the same work. Because there's only so much you can really reach with the shovel from the surface. I say that's good enough. Let's go. Take our little cart back to the shop like we do. Now this truck is something this we do own this truck right here. But it's it's not really something we need to use yet cuz it's kind of cumbersome to it's kind of cumbersome to drive it up this 
little trail here. So, I prefer to do it on foot. Just solely to sell stuff. See, having having more access to that deeper stuff with the pick, I use the pick to kind of clear away some of the topsoil. Already just makes it faster to get more money. Yeah, I was kind of curious to see if there was any gems in there because if there are, I'd probably pick them out. But like. Like that, that one golden, that one small gold nugget's 15, as opposed to this small, roughly same size iron one being like 10. So it's there's a pretty noticeable price jump from getting gold as opposed to iron, but in the end, it's fine. We're just trying to get our feet off the ground currently. Like a few more pipes and skadoosh. Combine our money together. Like I'll grab like Grab that stuff, and then just kind <laughs> of. It looks it looks a little goofy, but once things are in the cart, they don't have collisions, so you can just kind of stack up stuff and carry them around a lot easier. Same for the back. Same for the truck bed as well. I'm honestly surprised they even give you the truck for free, because it, it has probably like twice the space as this cart does. The only downside is that you, uh, every once in a while you need to fill your truck up with water. And I'll be honest, I didn't know you. I didn't really know that when I initially played this game. And this right here is where you fill the, the truck up, because the truck runs on water, which is cool. Very fitting with the, just the the water theme of the game is that like you know it. Huh? I feel like it would have been weird if they like made it to where the truck needed oil to run or like gas, when like literally everything else is is water tech. All right, so now. Our little, our little fun bucket here can hang out here. Hmm, now what I can try to do is just dig this down as far as it will let me go. Yeah, I was I was afraid that the pipes wouldn't be far enough, and I don't know how much money's left in the thing, so I don't want to go and do that. So we are going to um, well, let me flip this block right side up. There we go. 
For now, we're gonna just uh, put that there. <laughs> that there we'll, we'll get a little bit more money so we can afford some more pipes and probably another block or two because what what I'm trying to do is get it to where this water drip drips down to like an open area that's like exposed to the top here so that we can just stay down there have the water come to us and we can just scoop all the like the decent dirt and just fill buckets with it and just get a bunch of money quickly that way what we can do is get rid of this dirt clump that I made because we don't need that anymore it's kind of just in the way Ooh, that's a pretty decent chunk there of gold honestly that alone is probably enough but we're gonna get in a few more buckets while we're here something else I would like to afford is a construction hammer because that would let me uh kind of like not really nail but like the, the, the word would be like to um I don't know what the proper word would be because nails I mean we're not nailing anything now but it makes it to where we can't just pick these up accidentally and fuck shit up I guess nail down would be a, a good enough word but I've got a decent amount of uh gold or what or otherwise from just that bit so we're gonna go sell this stuff and we will spend that money to buy probably a few more probably like one or two more pipes and if possible the little construction hammer which is right here how much money do we even have left we have 35 okay that's not bad I'll just leave that there and we'll run up now once we get the whole shebang set up like you can get like a little furnace like a crucible like a little bar ingot mold and like an anvil and like blacksmith hammer to start making stuff out of your ore that you dig up and clean like you can after we get that stuff going and we get enough money I would probably like to run to one of the other towns to buy the upgraded cart Because the fast cart is what, what lets you, um, it, it, I think it moves at run speed for for your character, but while you're using the cart, because when you're using this cart, it's like walk speed, which isn't the worst, but if you're traveling around carrying or hauling stuff around a lot, it's gonna, the, the speed difference adds up. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Don't know why I worked at that time and not the other ones, but you know, sometimes you just. Sometimes you just. Yeah. Okay. And then let's grab this little forge hammer there. No, I'm gonna buy another pipe. Just. My guts tell me I probably should buy three. I can afford them. Yep, I can. Then we'll grab our little thing. We'll dump the water. I mean, not really any point of dumping the water out, but yeah, whatever. All right. I think I put the lantern out. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, what is that noise? I don't have like anything that's going to sizzle like that. I was like, oh, wait, the lantern. <laughs> I 
That's okay, we can just turn it right back on. <laughs> Start with the stairway right around here. I need to get the pickaxe and start just chopping away at this dirt. So this is about where we, about as far as I really got at the, at the, uh, and well, at the end of the last stream, which is like the one hour I played of this, we, we were able to get to the point where we were able to afford all the stuff to make, like, a dagger. Now, mind you, there are no enemies to fight <laughs> in this game, so you make the daggers purely just to sell to someone. I don't know who buys them. Maybe there's like some hidden lore where there's like actually like shit you have that the world is trying to kill or fight and you're just like in a weird like weirdly isolated place where there are just no monsters or enemies or whatever but and regardless you know like there's no m monsters that we have to fight. So we're just vibing and digging and vibing. I just realized just literally right now this stream that like if you crouch it, like <sighs> that you can place the blocks lower like we're doing now I just realized like wait you could just do that and that works right and then yep so stay in school kids <laughs> <laughs> See if that's enough room to place our our other block block here. I've wa I've watched the freaking Snap Cube's like newest like um, what you call it the uh, the fan dub thing like multiple times recently and <laughs> God damn it freaking so many quotable f 
fucking lines from that. Especially, basically anything the fucking devil says is, is just fucking gold. Bing bong, it's the devil. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Uh, now, do I use this pipe? We're gonna try it. See where it leads. Leaves the uh, little bit of water. Okay. Little water is down here now. I don't want to destroy too much of the, uh, like, too much of the dirt, because we can, most of the dirt down here is, like, decent enough for us to, s to really spend our time on and be worth it. So I already knocked, I already hammered those. Okay, cool. Well, let's get our little pan down here and see what we're working with. Unfortunately, that's a bit on a bit of an angle. Oh, come on, game. It's fine. I promise. What is it with the games I play? That sometimes they just have these little like micro stutters like that. Sevtech does. This game does. I don't know. Games are hard to make. <laughs> Let's see if I can afford a singular block. It's like five dollars or gold or whatever. I can afford more than one, but we we can only carry one with us at a time. But let's see if this one block helps that pan situation. If it does, then we can start just just going to town. Well, I think we have another, I believe we have another, uh, pipe, no? Hmm. <clears throat> well, for now, that's gonna have to do. There we go. <clears throat> oh, I fell, help! I've fallen in the hole of my own design. Most of the dirt down here that we're just kind of casually scooping up is worth a lot more than the stuff that we um, were able to reach from the top there previously. So we should be getting noticeably higher yield in general. Oh yeah, look at that! Ch look at that chunker, that chunker of a uh, gold uh, ingot. Not ingot, uh, nugget. <laughs> I can't talk. Um, let's keep. Let's just keep scooping. Just keep scooping. Just keep scooping. Just keep scooping. <clears throat> I'll be completely honest. Oh no! 
Don't don't fall down there. Fall over there at least. It's not as far down as I would like to be. I need like another water pipe to get the water to a place where I could probably place this block down and then have that drip down a little bit more um, effectively. But this is, this is definitely workable for now. Oh, shit. Yeah, dirt can just exist as its own thing in the world, too, like that. Like, dirt clumps. Now, let's see if that... I'm just kind of curious what's in here. Let's pour it out. <clears throat> now I have to pick it all up. And I was contemplating, like, saving, trying to save some of that iron or whatever for, <clears throat> for sale. But, like, not for, well, not for sale, but for, uh, when we get to the point where we can start smelting things into bars and making things out of them. Oh, wow, that's, yeah, that's already a noticeable spike up in, uh, money just from that, from... Just the stuff down the stuff down where we're at now is worth a lot more than the kind of like the one or two block de depth stuff that we had access to previously. All right, three hundred and five. What am I gonna spend this? like bank absolute banquet of money on um i don't know if i can afford well i need i know i need at least one more pipe uh probably another one of these blocks as well just it never hurts to have more of these blocks because you can make nice flat surfaces to work with Okay, we'll take our pan back, and we will bring the cart over. Now, ideally, before the end of the stream, I would like to have these machines and have them going automatically making dirt, because that way you don't have to dig any dirt yourself. You still can if you really want to, but, like... Those two machines, when working together, create dirt out of basically nothing. Because you have to have dirt below the machine, but it doesn't use up that dirt. So it just generates dirt out of basically thin air. <laughs> All right, let's see. So that's 27 so far. I'll see if we can afford all the stuff to start uh, smithing our own things. Oh no, we're not gonna be able to afford all that stuff just yet. We can afford some of it. Like how much is it, 218, 305? So we have that and that. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to afford all of it yet. We'll, we'll buy what we have. And then we'll buy the rest after we get the next uh, payday. Sleep time. <laughs>
the plants. Yes. Rise, my brother. <laughs> That's also why I have my bed over there, just because I get to sleep in the dirt with the plant the other plants. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's a little hard to see, but we're gonna we're gonna grab this pipe here. We'll add it to our drippy spot there and we'll start we'll start digging. Well, that didn't take long. <clears throat> I'm just gonna drop you down in there. Let's grab our this little hammer and we'll free this block from its containment see now we can have that block there we should be able to have one down there too to make it for a, a nice landing but I might need I might need to dig up some more dirt down there to allow the placement of that to happen Also, probably smart to clear some head space too. Okay. We'll just offload this stuff right now. probably still ideally have all like this like blacksmithing stuff up here just because it's closer to the surface where we'd be have to come to sell our stuff anyway so having it up here just makes more sense to me but having all like the pro or processing stuff down like having all the are you seriously Is, is it really not going to let me do that? Are you serious? You know what? Sit there for a second. We're going to figure out why it's not letting me put it there. If it's going <clears> to... <throat> hmm. Well, that's just silly, ain't it? Whatever. Um. Like there's some. Huh? Yeah, whatever. As long as we still get, as long as we can still get in and out, it's fine. You know, whatever. Doesn't really matter that. Doesn't really matter that much in the grand scheme of things. However, I would like to put that one there. With this guy. <clears throat> and we can't do anything with this yet because we need the crucible and the little uh, ingot cast. And I think we were just going to be just shy on buying that stuff. Partially because we had to buy the um, extra pipe or two. Alright, so. Let's see anything I need no oh, pan I need the pan I, I need my personal pan pizza All right. for now we're gonna have that pipe there so we're gonna seal that down oh I fail hail <laughs> Okay, we'll start getting some of this tasty, tasty dirt down here. I'm gonna put that there for to see just a little easier. 
Okay, where's my brush? There's my brush. There we go. That's probably about as good as I'm going to get it. As you can see, like when you get to this point, like you just di you just dig, pour, clean, and then just go back to digging even more. Still a lot of manual labor, but it's a lot more worth it once you get down here to this point. Oh, shovel's trying to take me out. It's like I saw you, I saw you talking with the pickaxe earlier. My tools all have a mind of their own. Get get away from me. The shovel's just 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 chronically addicted to me. It's like I need to be touching you at all times. Alright, that's good enough for now. Let's Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, got a gym. We'll save that for later. We can use that with some uh, gold. Uh, let's... We'll grab all this gold and go, uh, sell it. And with what, with the money, with that, we should hopefully be able to start making our own things. Which will make this iron worth a lot more than it currently is. Because right now, iron is just really bad to sell. Like, gold's not much better to sell, but it is better to sell, at the very least. But we need a crucible and a little, um, the little ingot cast. Now, eventually, once we get some spare money, there is a, uh, a combination crucible ingot cast furnace thing that you just, you basically drop stuff in there and it melts it down. Oh, jeez. Maybe I shouldn't sell all this gold. Because it'll be worth a lot more. Yeah, we're not going to sell all this gold. That's good. We'll sell that. Because that gold there, I think it's worth more once you turn it into things in the first place. So we'll be doing ourselves a favor by not just selling all that. for. Grand, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter, but... We're not really playing for the grand scheme of things at this very second. We're playing for the on the small scale. So on the small scale, saving this gold here to turn into stuff is a lot more worth our time. I'm just gotta grab my money. Oh, we had a little bit more than I thought, so we probably have more than enough to buy the other stuff that I need. Let's. Oh, I need an anvil too. I should be able to afford that as well. I think that's more ex the more expensive part that's left over. Let's see. Cause you need a you need an anvil to bang out the stuff. Makes sense. Then we got the anvil. Then we need this guy, and then we need a crucible. Is that called just a... Uh, it's, yeah, it's a casting mold. The crystal's pretty cheap. Alright, and that is more than enough. Again, I'm glad I saved my uh, this gold, because we can immediately turn this gold into something. Ooh. Mm, we'll see. 2.30. Oh, I'll have to come back for this, but... We'll, we'll make stuff out of the iron first.
Granted, if I would have if I would have sold one more of those golds, I probably wouldn't be able to afford that. But it's fine. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna keep this here. That way, we don't forget that we want to buy it. But yeah, we can immediately use this iron up top to uh, make something and sell that, and then with that money we can buy that and grind up. This gym is a lot bigger than this one we found earlier. Like the size difference is, it's like that picture. It's like that picture of like the small, the like the big ass like rabbit and like her small boyfriend. <laughs> That's just what reminds me of this. It's just, it's cute. Can I stack them on top of each other? <laughs> just silly shit, just silly shit like that makes me smile. Okay. So. I'll put that there. Blacksmithing hammers there already. We need the crucible. We'll just kind of. We'll put that there because we need to put all this iron in there. I don't know the exact numbers, but I know that like melting all the iron together combines their values and then making it into something increases that value. And frankly, that's really all I need to know because that makes it that definitely makes it like worth doing. Which is enough, you know? Alright, so. We don't have a saw currently, so we have to make... We can only make a dagger. Because once we have a saw, we can... Take, like, one ingot of stuff like we're making now and then cut it into multiple pieces. And other things need more than one ingot. So you can do that. And I think the stuff that costs more ingots has a higher, like, money ratio than the stuff that costs, like, one or two, so... There's a bunch of little things you can do to increase the value of what you dig out of the ground. And then once you have it to where you're getting stuff automatically without your own input, with those like with the drill and the harvester over there, it becomes a lot uh, faster. Okay. I was like I was confused, I was like where where's the mold? We just bought it, right? Okay, and we'll pour that in there and we can quickly try to smelt this. Yeah, the bar is the part. The bar is too cool, so we'll just kind of put it in there and let it warm up. If you're cold, they're cold. <laughs> right, it's probably warm enough now. Oh wait, it, was, it probably was warm. Excuse me, why are you not warm enough? Are you not entertained? We'll just let it sit there and heat up a little bit. Gotta be, gotta be one of my least uh, favorite parts of the whole metalworking thing is like, shit cools down way too fast. All right, there's a dagger. Got it. Got it. Hello, three Gs. How are you doing, my friend? We are, we're back with this again. I started a new file since this is like the first like actual dedicated Hydraneer stream. We're doing good. We got back to the point where I can make stuff out of the, the metal we fall on the ground. I just kind of meandered around a little bit this morning. Basically just redid the hour I did yesterday on yesterday's stream. Just for the sake of like... Yeah, like that one dagger now is 200 bucks because it combined all that iron we had. How are you doing this morning? You handsome devil, you. Boing. Ah! No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't think it was actually that being climbing on the roof. Alright, where's the shadow? Where's the shadow? There's the shadow. It's hard to see sometimes. Awesome. Happy to hear it. So we got $271 or coins or whatever. Is there anything else we need from this shop immediately? 
No, as one of, as one of the viewers near the end of the stream yesterday was saying that they usually do a lot of fishing to get their early money, which I've never done any of the fishing, and I don't know if I'm going. I think I'll continue that trend, at least for now. <laughs> yeah, we definitely want this grindstone because that'll let us uh, polish our gems, so we can use them and with gold to make jewelry. I think what I, I think the other thing I'm gonna do is get a saw because I was saying just like a okay I, <laughs> I wasn't expecting the collision to work like that but all right yeah I was saying uh, just a little bit ago that if we had a saw we could cut bar metal bars that we make into halves and then basically use the same one bar to make something with with multiple bars and I think that increases our money that we can get from things. Just put that right there for now. We need to sleep because it's getting sleepy time. I'll sleep in the gr in the dirt and grass like my brothers and sisters and others. Brothers, mothers, and others. <laughs> now we got the big old drippy pipe just is kind of floating in midair, dripping down to there. We do have some gold that we can do stuff with, and I did find a <laughs> I did find a, gen, a a pretty decently sized uh, ruby here that we're gonna grind up. One of my favorite things about this game is like later there's this item that like you can use to compress gems together. Like if you say yeah, like two rubies, and you compress them together, they would just be a bigger ruby worth more money. <laughs> And I just like trying to make like the big, like the most freakishly huge gems I can manage to. Just fun, just some just simple shit like that makes me happy. Just like big rock. But what we're gonna do now is we have this bit of leftover gold from when we were getting some stuff, and we're gonna make some jewelry, which will get us a lot more money than just selling the gold. If we want to be like super macro efficient or whatever, we could be like getting more stuff right now while this melts. Because it's not instant, but I don't know if I care that much. So we'll just have the fire crackling ASMR while this melts the gold. There we go. And they'll pour it onto our little mold here. It's, a, it's not a very impressive bar. All right, well, I might be sneezing a bit. Because, yeah, woo! I 
God damn it. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, long COVID has rendered me a snotty mess. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming that's what it is. Because, yeah, during the earlier parts of the pandemic in like 2020, go trying to go to the grocery store, people don't know how to not be in your fucking space. So I, I'm thinking that's kind of where I got sick from it or whatever. So, you know. <clears throat> anyway. We got this little gold bar here. We'll heat it up, and then we'll saw it in half, and we'll make something out of it. <clears throat> I think this ruby was the bigger one. Okay, now the bars are too cold. We're just gonna sit them on the lip here. On the anvil. There we go. I made a nice necklace. We're gonna go sell this bad boy. We could like load it up in the cart, but. Mm. Yeah, that's some money right there. I didn't expect the money, the, the coins to bounce like that. Alright, let's see. Anything else that I quote unquote need? Now we got all that stuff. Hmm. Don't really need this. These basically, um. Like your intake intake pipes have like a certain uh, water pressure, and what like the the pressure of the water determines how fast your water based machines work, as you might you might expect. These restore the pressure to the same percentage as the intake pipe, which in the case for these four giant pipes would be a hundred percent. So you want to put these like right before the as the the final piece before water enters your uh, your machines most of the time that's what you want to do with them so that your machines run as fast as they possibly can so that's what those are for we don't really need that right now because we're not we don't even have any any of the machines that use water and we have 384. Go buy a standing torch. I'm gonna put that down there. 
and have a lot more light to see what we're doing with, and that'll help eliminate the need for sleeping <laughs> quite as much. There we go. Nice and lit up. Okay, we're gonna get a, a bare minimum a few uh, buckets worth of dirt in this pan here. This here darn darn pan. <laughs> huh? So now that we're down here at this much tastier dirt, we make a lot more money in the same amount of time. Oh, you, you stinky little shovel. You almost threw me off. Alright, let's see what we got so far. Because we, we didn't really do much digging or panning for long but like as you see we already got a decent amount of stuff there's some cloudium but besides being a funny name that stuff is used for um special stuff later on like different levels like a higher tier of like uh of equipment I think the next thing I want to be able to afford is the combination, the combination uh, smelter that you just put stuff in and it's already preheated so it melts instantly and it has its own little crucible as well or whatever this is, the casting mold already has one of those as well so. That is my next goal. Shouldn't be too, too difficult since we have all this stuff set up now and now since we do in fact have a uh, a goal we're working towards now I am gonna try to be a little bit more efficient Especially if I can find a gym to go with that gold up there. Oh, you son of a bitch. The shovel is out to get is out to get me. Oh yeah, I see a gem in there. Nice. Right, 
Let's sleep. Just because I don't have enough standing torches yet to make it to where I don't really need to sleep. Because if it's lit up, well, if it's lit up well enough, like the time of day, otherwise it doesn't really matter. It's just to be able to see what the fuck is going on. That really, you know, actually matters. Alright, so we've got a sapphire here. Just kind of. Another sapphire. Mmm. Some more iron. See, the great thing about getting more iron is that we can just pour it right into that crucible to make to make it go with the rest of our iron as well. If we either get the angle right or just like do it one piece at a time. I can't see shit, so I just like blindly poured the stuff on the ground. <laughs> it's like, oh, I guess I'm gonna just do that. Correction. I think the next thing I'm gonna be buying is, a, is at least one, uh... You know, I could probably just get the little lantern, put it up here for now. Okay, I think that was all the little iron pieces anyway, but <laughs> it's just, that was a shit show and a half. Okay, we got some, that's another sapphire. Heat that bad boy up. Heat those up. Cause we're gonna use our iron here to make a sword. Which is the three this is this thing here that takes three uh, ingots. Oh, son of a bitch. No not <laughs> like this. No. Get get on there quick. No. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, almost got almost stabbed myself in the in the crotch. All right. So we got a nice little sword here. I think that still technically counts as being in the cart. So we're gonna just leave that alone. <laughs> But, well, <clears throat> in the case of the like this sword and like the jewelry we're gonna make it definitely makes sense to use the card to take them up there I don't know which one of you is bigger they're probably roughly the same size so whatever Uh, you might be a slightly bigger. Don't know. <clears throat> Again, I could try to be do like super efficient shit while that's happening, while that's melting. Oh, you son of a, this shovel is out to get me. <laughs> what does it know? Who told you about that shovel? Hmm? 
Who told you my secrets? Why are you being so hateful? <laughs> Okay, I heard the the melt happen. We'll finish this off. <laughs> Shovels are still getting in the way. Pour that out. Ooh, we got another gem. That one might be even bigger than the other ones we got here. It's like a little rupee. I like that. Okay, the shard just kind of goes over here when the game wants to not freeze when it's trying to save. <laughs> mm. We'll use this emerald. Okay. Oh, that's a much bigger gold bar than <laughs> the last time we did something. Fuck off. <laughs> That's another reason I want to get the, the upgrade thing is these crucibles suck to work with because they bounce around, like they bounce around, roll around. Wee! <laughs> Fuck you. Oh yeah. Goodies, goodies, goodies. Alright. Let's take our sad, sad little cart up to here. Sell this stuff. And I'm hoping to get at least, like, at least a thousand out of this. More would be great, would be better, because then we could be able to go buy some stuff. Okay. A thousand one hundred ninety two, not bad. I feel like that would be enough to buy the uh the new um crucible combination thing that I wanna buy, but I think if we do another kind of round of money making We'll then have more than enough to buy that and the new cart and a faster cart. The only, the only other thing that here that we want, wouldn't want to buy in the future would be more pipes and these, because these are your your first uh, your first water powered machines. I mean, we could buy them now and try to hook them up, but, like, we don't really have stuff set up, set up down here to make it worth our while, because the way the little drill works is that the height the drill is determines the quality of dirt that it gets, which determines the size of the, uh, that, that determines the size of the stuff that you get out of the dirt, which is why digging down there, as opposed to up here, gets you a lot more money a lot faster. Oh, it's fucking shovels out to get me.
At some point, it's better to save your iron to make new drills and stuff as opposed to selling it. But for now, we're still early enough days where selling literally everything we get our hands on is generally a better idea because getting the money to do better things is kind of important too. Sneaky Bucket tried to run away from me. And this shovel is just out to get me at every turn. <laughs> All right, let's dump this out like right here. We also have a bit of leftover iron from when we're processing the gold stuff. Alright, I gotta move our crucible to somewhere where there's still light <laughs> because I need to be able to uh, I need to be able to see where I'm pouring this t fucking tin. Well, at least some of it got in there. Jesus Christ. There is there is a creative mode, and there is an item in that creative mode that, like, just stops time. But then there's, like, weird interactions with, like, buying things that I do not like. As far as, like, just a gameplay pers perspective goes. So. I tend to just not use it and just deal with the weird light situation. Okay, well that's going. We'll go dig up some more shit. Despite the shovel literally trying to hamstring me at every opportunity he gets the chance to. Alright, it finally melted, the iron there. Oh, we got some more stuff to play around with. Let's immediately see another piece of iron that we're gonna drop in there. Let's see, gold, 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 and oh, oh we got a decent amount of gold just from that short time of waiting <laughs> for that to do stuff. <clears throat> that chunker of a bar is going to go in there and then we'll switch this to three and we'll start 
sawing those up. Okay, and then we'll make us. Oh, come on! The bottom bar got too cold. It's like, you know what? Fuck you. Unheat your bar. <laughs> Unheats your ingot. Your ingot's cold and sad. Just like me. For real, though, like... <clears throat> the high today is gonna be like 40-something. And I'm just sad because... It's like a cold even for this time of year. I'm just like, uh... Oh, baby, that's a big sward. You know what? That counts as being in. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna play ball. <laughs> Is it in? <laughs> the question that, the question that, that, um, People with people that yeah, yeah I'm not gonna go any further with that one. <laughs> is it in question mark? You're just like uh, yes, yes it is. That that's never the thing you want to hear. <laughs> Alright, is there any gold? Oh no, it's just cloudium. No gold, just clout. You know, we might as well just go get some more shit while that's happening, too. So, let's... Oh god damn it. My own my hubris. Sweet. Well, let's uh See what we're working with. Here's some gold. Put it in there with that one. Okay, that's not quite as chunker of a gold bar as the last one. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Regardless, we'll grab this little sapphire here. Onward. You know, it, it, game's doing weird shit, so we're just gonna. Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna sell the sword. 
by itself. Now we can do it that way. All right, and that should be like 2,600 uh, monies, which is should be more enough to buy what I want to buy with it. We're gonna leave this cart just like somewhere over here because after, because after this um, trip we're gonna be taking, we are uh, not gonna be using this cart anymore because this is not gonna be good. So we're gonna just start running to the next to the other town that we're gonna need to go to. I could take the, you know what? Fuck, we'll take we will take the truck. Don't need to, but why not? Now, I normally just kind of like plow like into the river and drive around that way to get to the town, but for the sake of the first trip to the town, we'll kind of go the scenic route through like the intended path. So let's carefully cross the bridge. And you got this little place here. The only thing I know this place is good for is that there's a uh, what they call stock markets here. And this stock market buys all the weapons. And you see right now it says demand down by 90%. That means if you sold the weapon, your weapons here right now, you would get like basically like 9.8% less money. <laughs> Granted, this can be demand up sometimes too, so it there's not really a, an easy or good way to tell what the demand or whatever is from what I know. Maybe there is and I'm just stupid, but which is possible. But yeah, I usually don't bother with the this the which columns the uh, stock market things. Yep, and then we go. We hang it right here. Nice little cottage. Is this also a stock market? What is this? This is a stock market for. Bars, I want to say. Gold bars, maybe. And again, it's just, it's not even 100%, so I don't know why you'd bother right now. And regardless, you're almost never, like at this point, even at this point in the game, you're almost never going to be wanting to sell just, like, bars anymore, because... You can make more money from making them into things, even. Alright, and this is Bridge Pour. Somewhere that we're going to be doing an awful lot of um, purchasing in the future, because there's just a lot of stuff here. First, first store is a vehicle store. Got these slightly. I don't know if these trucks actually have more storage space or not. I think they're just slightly faster. But yeah, I think that in the next update there's gonna be a lot more vehicles because it's gonna add like far actual farming into the game, like like agriculture stuff, which would make sense with the game with water pipes, right? So that's kind of a cool idea that they're adding. Okay, and. Our first stop is actually right here. Itchy carts. <laughs> Cause I talked about it earlier, but like the fast cart is what I want. That's one of the first like one of the big things I want first is want a fast cart because 
It lets you move at sprint speed while carrying stuff around. Plus it's red, so it makes it even better. Okay, so let's grab you and... I think we should can technically even like jump up in here, turn around. <laughs> and it's technically in the back of the truck, so we can carry it home with us. And the money is in the back of that, so it's just like a, a chain reaction of stuff inside of stuff. Okay, so this is a furniture store. Ooh, your new best friend since you don't. Oh, no, that's mean. <laughs> Look up and smell those. Those are cool. You can like. Jesus Christ. Hello, Nakora. Welcome. Welcome back. We're playing more of the Diggy Water game. We are in. We're at one of the other towns right now. I'm just kind of showing off all the stores. This is a furniture store that has like table, cactus, your new best friend since you don't have one, planter box, got some rugs. You got a chair, you got a safe. I don't know if there's like anything in. Huh. Yeah. Hello, Hug Dispenser. My body is trying to kill me. But yes, hello, Hug Dispenser. Hello, Nakura. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Like, this morning in particular, I'm just, like, snotty and full of sneezes, and it's not fun. But, yeah, we're, we're playing more Hydraineer. We just bought this fast cart. We put it in the back of our truck. <laughs> haphazardly. And we're going to use the rest of this money to buy stuff from this shop. <sighs> Unfortunately, I think I've got long COVID, so I've just been kind of dealing with like sinus garbage for the last like two years. So I don't know exactly when I'll get better, <laughs> but I might try to look more into some stuff to help anyway. But yeah, we're at this store. The long boy. The, the main thing I want to buy is a smelter. How much is this? We can also buy this scale that like lets us see how much stuff costs before we run it to the store. And... I think that's a little too much. Just a little too much for the magnet on a stick. That's okay. Hmm... I would love this uh, compressor because that lets us smash gemstones into big gemstones. But frankly, I'm happy with these two things and the cart as our purchases for 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 now. No, we'll buy a we'll buy a torch too. <clears throat> Alright, let's put that in there. Did it actually get in there? Yeah, it did. And then we'll grab these things and we'll drive back home.
<clears throat> now, the way I usually get to this town is I just drive through the river. I'll show y'all the way I normally get here. Just then drive through the river. And there's like a little ramp right here. And you can just kind of get up. I don't know if it's intended, but I just kind of <laughs> go up this way. <laughs> and that's my shortcut of getting to that town. Decently quick. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Wobbly ass truck. <clears throat> Alright. We'll sleep to start the day cycle over. Finally, the hovercraft. <laughs> well, the cool thing about this truck is that it is powered by water. And you can refill it by pouring water in this little spot right here. Grab our fast cart. Grab our little smelter here. Grab our little scale. And most importantly, grab this fucking torch so I can see. A little better. <clears throat> it's not much better, but. The, the stuff we bought from that from that uh, town is a nice quality of life in several ways. Like, to previously melt all of our stuff down, we would need to um, put in a little crucible right here and let it heat up on our furnace here. Now, we still need the furnace because if we're, if we're making stuff and the bars get too cold, you can't make, you won't let you make the thing, so you have to heat them up. So we still need this. But this smelter here is a combination of a always heated up crucible and this guy. So we're gonna just kind of def definitely move that out of the way because that's not where I wanted it to go. Let's put that there. And in case of boy, we got some iron. We just drop it in and it instantly melts. And then we can just pour it out, and there's a little bar. Uh, let's see. This hammer, let's put that down in place. <clears throat> no, let's see. We got we got just a little over an hour left. I want to get those two um, those two machines at least bought and set up, even if it's just on this top layer. That will just be making stuff for us. I put it backwards. Because I am good at this game. <laughs> Alright, cool. We can use this to see how much our little iron bar is worth. $83. Or coins or whatever. It also shows us the weight, which is relevant for stuff that we can do later. Not currently, but later. But anyway, in case y'all, in case y'all haven't seen what you do in this game, well, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, 3G's and Nakura have because they were here yesterday when I first kind of just was playing around with it. But so, normally, if you don't have a drippy pipe like this to drip water down here you would have to like get water into a pan like this and then you dig some dirt you put it in your little bucket here you pour that into the there and then that and then you brush the dirt to clean it the way I have it set up now is that I just constantly have water so I don't have to worry. That's like one less step I have to do. And you just scoop dirt. Scoop dirt. And fucking shovel is trying to sabotage me again. The shovel's out to get me. It knows my deepest, darkest secrets. 
Like uh, that I'm a furry or something, I don't know. I'm sure that's not that big of a fucking secret if you if you know me well enough. <laughs> well enough. Anyway, yeah, we're just gonna get some more. Now, if you want, you can just scoop like one scoop at a time into. Uh, to hear but that's like a waste of time in like the biggest way yep we're just getting a bunch of goodies oh come on all right you just pick up the dirt and put it there yourself if it really comes to it. Let's grab this stuff and we'll go up and deal with it. So let's pour it out on the ground. Ooh, we got a nice little emerald. We'll put that over here with the rest of its kind. The more fun way to do things is to load them all up in your pan like so. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fine, game. Be like that. Fine. Keep your, keep your secrets, game. I don't know how that... Yep, yeah, no, right, yeah. I just got d literally dunked on by the, the, the thing activating when I was trying to pour into it. Rude. Okay, so there's that. And doing it this way makes it a lot easier just to keep building up the size of like your ingot that you're working on. Like that gold bar is currently worth 306 coins, which is you know fine, but we can just keep getting more and more stuff. We'll try that again with the iron this time instead. There we go. That's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> and we'll drop that in there and now we have an even bigger bar. This one's worth almost as much as the iron is. But it's quite a bit bigger, which just shows just the price disparity between gold and iron. How much money do we have left? Is, it, is my money in here or is it still in the truck somewhere? I think it's still in the truck. Uh, we have 251. That's not bad. We're gonna put, we're gonna for that money in our little cart here. I'm gonna get another uh, buck, another bit of stuff from down here, and then we'll process that and see if we can buy those two machines. Yes, Pookie. Hello, Bubba. He's just mowing into the into the sky. Spooky, he's the baby. He's the baby. He's a stupid baby, but he is the baby. I mean, he's like three or something now, so he's technically not a baby. Fucking shovel! Sh this shovel's out to get me. It it always seems to fall in the worst possible place. Then again, I am lazy and just keep putting it there, so it's partially my fault, but it's also just out to get me. Oh, 
Oh, there's already dirt. There's already dirt in there. Got a shard. Useful for later, but not for now. It's only useful when you start have doing stuff with machines. Now we'll get another bucket full. When the bucket stops rolling. Alright, cool. Okay, ooh. Got another Cloutium. Let's see, there's the shard. Now you can melt shards down into, um... Oh, that's a baby shard. Wow, that's probably the smallest shard I've seen in a while. Cool. Yeah, we're definitely going to be melting down this stuff into... More iron things. An even bigger bar. Four twenty. Four twenty blaze bars it. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with it. Oh, there's just a random I a gold that we've Kind of neglected over here. Okay, so that's there. Let's see. This is a pretty decent sized emerald, so we're gonna grind it down. Do the the the, the Sigma male grind set. See how much this one's worth now. Huh. Ha. <laughs> okay, so now that bar by itself is 650. That's not bad. You can increase its value by um, adding a gem to it and making it into jewelry. And I think we'll, we'll process these two um, these two ingots. I suppose I can just leave. Now nah, I was gonna say I wonder if I can just leave this here and have it heat up, but no, it won't even fit. So, well, well, these bars are big enough to where they'll more easily fit on the uh, little forge anyway. Now, because we gotta heat, we gotta heat them up to um, get them to the right temp. Okay, this is our gold. We'll grab that. Saw it in half. Make a nice, make a big ass necklace. Uh, where's the cart? How did I already lose track of the cart? What? How did I lose? How did I lose my cart already? How much? That's I'm. I'm awful. Where's my cart? It's right here. It's just, it's blending in. It's it's stealth. It's the stealth cart. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm blind as shit. All right. <laughs> All right. So our, our 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 iron's definitely heated up now. You know, I just out of embarrassment, I'm gonna heat that back up. Okay, we'll solve. Big sword. Again, there's nothing to fight in this game, so the sword is just someone. Someone else really just likes swords, I guess. You know what? It counts. It counts. It's in the cart. Let's go. <laughs> Doesn't count if it's in the cart or if it's existing near the cart, as long as it's. I guess touching the hitbox. I don't know. Uh, 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 uh. 
Come on. Oh, God damn it. Fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. All right, game. <laughs> anyway, it's not too bad. Should be more enough to get us started with getting those machines and getting them set up and... Alright. Let's grab our money. Put it where their little box here. And as far as these machines go, you can only buy one of each of them. The other ones you have to craft yourself. Which I'm probably not going to have enough time this stream to show that off because we don't have enough iron or resources to do that or money yet. Uh, we'll also buy. Like, huh? one of these. <clears throat> okay, let's grab these and... Huh? Huh? Probably, it's probably still counting as being, like... You know, we'll just take, we'll just take these manually over <laughs> here. I'm getting stuck on the sign. <laughs> well, there's your sign. Yeah, no shit. I can I I, I can tell where my sign is. <laughs> it's in my face. <laughs> okay, and we'll grab this. The the reason the reason I bought a little set of like ratchets or whatever is um. Once you um have once your water using machines, depending on the purity of the water, will take damage over time. The way to mitigate that is to um get water filters, and we can't afford that yet. So, all right, so. Now, ideally, we would have this drill down there, sitting on a piece of dirt, and just, like, making... It makes more dirt out of nothing, basically. Again, I wish... I wish whenever you went to sleep, it was like Minecraft, it was already light out whenever you woke up, because... Yeah, it's kind of annoying. We are going to need to buy some more pipes and one of those um, water pressure thingies. So let's go ahead and buy some more pipes. A forged iron pressure tank. Grab my money. Drop it in there. We need one of those. Uh, let's see, at least one of these. Well, at least a few, probably more than one of these. Probably f several more. We'll buy like five. Little T junction pipes are always nice to have. Mm -hmm. So we'll buy like two of those in case we need them. Probably another joint or two. <laughs> I'm buying some. I'm buying some joints. <laughs> uh, probably don't need the cork yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, let's buy this stuff. Okay, and then we will just grab the cart from outside, and because it just saves a little time. Okay.
Honestly, I could have. I probably could have done it this what I'm doing, I'm about to do now, um, a little earlier. Cause well, we don't really need the height per se of this situation because it's dropping into the hole anyway. So that gives us these two joints back. The item placement in this game is a little iffy sometimes. Once you kind of figure out how it works, it's not as not really that bad, but like it can be a challenge to deal with sometimes because sometimes it just doesn't won't go where you want it to go. Let's see, we got another joint here. Let's. water getting down in here. Now we're going to have to dig out quite a bit of space <laughs> to make this worth any sort of shit. So we're going to just go ahead and start digging out a bunch of this extra space because... to see so we're gonna also grab our torch here and move it like right here floating midair you know as you do sometimes you just gotta float midair a little bit you ever, you ever just get in a mood where you have to just float midair <laughs> how do we kind of like that last night at work cuz like we got, to, we got a call in from my nurse. It's like, oh, there's a tripping hazard. Everything's horrible. And I get up there and check out the cords underneath the desk, and there's, like, maybe one of them that's, like, slightly inconvenient to have your feet around, which I, I, I fixed up anyway, but this nurse is not making it, like, sound like everyone's dying en masse, like a fucking meteor hit the hospital <laughs> because there's cords on the floor. It's like, unfortunately, sometimes there has to be cords on the floor. But, you know. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's a sword. There's a sword. I think there's like four or five relics that are like just kind of hidden within all the other. This dig and all the other digs. That you can um, try to find to like complete a kind of objective. I don't know. What? I'll, I'll go show you the little cave. I think it's over this way. Yeah, it's right here. Is this? No, that's just the sign saying fishing that way. Man, there's four relics, and well. For now, we'll keep the little sword here, because it's not like it's really doing me any good where it's at. Hmm. Yep, just accidentally found that, so that's cool. Not really going on my way to find those, but... Woo. Woohoo. Drills there. Let's get the water further down. That way I can figure out where I want to put the, the rest of the pipes. Hydrate. Hello, birdie. 
Thanks for stopping in. I know you're you're doing your own stuff a lot of the time, so I appreciate you checking in. I have this bottle of dull lemonade stuff I got from the gas station on the way home yesterday. So and I also have some coffee to finish off. Ah. Let's see, water is there so far. We have we have purchased some things. <laughs> We've got the faster cart. We've got these two machines that we're gonna try to start setting up now. Even if they're not like the most ideal place. Getting them set up so that they'll uh, function together takes out takes out a lot of a lot of effort. Like it just makes stuff for you while you're just running around doing maintenance or whatever. Move this stuff out of the way real quick. That might be where we... Oh, I got some more pipes, but... Let's put in one of these joints. Let's grab a joint! It's the American way. Grab a joint. See the little round part there, that's the water intake. Now we could set this up here. But we're probably gonna need to set this up a little higher. So we're gonna have to do things a little differently than what I envisioned. We did buy a T pipe or two. The testosterone pipe. <laughs> of course. Huh? Okay, so let's set up our little tea guy. So this is now getting water. I don't think it's actually taking water damage yet since it's not activated. So that gives us time to kind of just set up the rest of our junk. <clears throat> Alright, so now we got our harvester here, which I guess if you want to think of it, digests the dirt and turns it into the stuff that the dirt would become. We'll probably have that there because this will spit this out and then it'll go there. Which means we do need some stuff there. Yeah, we're gonna have it that way because if we have we have if we have the water connection this way, it's probably not gonna work. Although, I can try it that way. It's just iffy because you have to have dirt underneath the uh, drill there for the drill to work. I might be able to <laughs> get um, a piece of dirt on top of the pipe. Once I put it in place. It's a big maybe though. I've never, I've never been able to, I've never really tried to do it. And then what we would do now is grab our shovel wherever that little bastard went. Fucker keeps getting in my way. Like, almost like deliberately it seems. And and now it's playing hide and seek. You son of a bitch. It's 
uh, it's probably very obviously somewhere and I just didn't see it. Where are you, you fuck? You traitorous scum. <laughs> Seriously, where where's my shuffle? <laughs> This isn't really a bit. I don't. I, where's my shovel? Did my dumbass leave it somewhere? That's a hammer. Doesn't know if that's hard to see because it's nighttime almost. It's probably like literally in like the most obvious space, and I'm just not seeing it. Where where is the shovel? Where's the where's the beef? Where's the beef? I need the shovel. Don't make me go buy another shovel just because this one like got vaporized through the world. Where's where's my damn shovel? Shovel. <laughs> just like it's like it's like your dog runs away at like 9 p.m. at night and you're just like outside with a flashlight trying to find your dog. Except it's not a dog, it's a shovel. <laughs> and it doesn't move. <laughs> so I have to figure out where I left it. <laughs> no. Where the fuck are you? That's my pickaxe, but pickaxe isn't what I need. I need the shovel to dig dirt so I can try to, you know, get dirt where the pipe is so that I can get that to work. Where the fuck is my shovel? It's not over here, is it? No. <laughs> it's not over here, is it? No. Like, I promise, I'm not, this isn't a bit. Where the, where the hell is my shuffle? Oh my god! <laughs> There's my shuffle! <laughs> I told you it was probably, like, in the most obvious fucking place. I don't know why it's even up there. Because I haven't done digging up there in the last, like, hour. You know what? Whatever. Anyway. You know what? This might actually work. Because that has dirt on it. We're going to sleep before we do much more of this. Because, like, this dark the darkness is annoying me. I know my name's Mobus the Dark, but the darkness is annoying me. At the end of the day, I'm still a plant and I enjoy the sunlight. This is probably like the worst part of winter is that like the sun just like goes away really fast and that makes me sad. Like during summertime, at the very least, like if I'm like at work and it's like 8 p.m. and I'm walking like somewhere to do something, if I'm like in one of the hallways where there's like windows, I'll be at least be able to look outside and see the sun. But like last night at like 5 p.m., sun's just gone already. I'm just like, oh no, no. <laughs> anyway, let's um. Actually, before we do anything, let's grab these little shards, and we're gonna fuse them together into like a a, a yeah, shard bar, if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't, and it honestly probably shouldn't make any sense to, for it to work this way. But game don't care. Neither do I. Yeah, shard bar is like the combined like power of all those shards together. Hmm. If my money is still at the shop, and I have still have enough, I want to buy one more thing. How much money do I have left? Oh, I got enough money. And I want to buy one of these uh, little valves so I can uh, turn water off if necessary. Like if I'm if I'm troubleshooting like where stuff is gonna fall, 
so I don't have like 10 million uh my little building hammer or construction hammer whatever lock that in place okay so now I can turn that off whenever necessary let's get this uh, pressure tank in place Let's see. I like that, actually. <laughs> I don't normally do these things vertical because it can get kind of tricky to get them in there properly, but I think it should be fine this time. Because it's like right, literally, like literally right next to the staircase that I've got going on. Alright, so let's grab our shard bar over here. And we'll slight, we'll slam dunk this bastard in here. Okay, we'll just. Okay, fine. It's like an awkward height, actually. <laughs> there we go. Just get in there. <clears throat> Now, ideally, we'd probably have this on a horizontal plane because it's a lot easier to, uh. Yeah, we'll, we'll move it. We'll move stuff over just by like one. <clears throat> that will that will allow us to um. Well, now I gotta get rid of this dirt and replace it after the fact. Sh shovel. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> Funny enough, that still doesn't really do anything for me unless I, um... Oh, man, I can do it that way, actually. have like let me move our little shard bar there now <laughs> I gotta unlock the uh, the item that I previously nailed down now I can move it again see if I, if I, if I have it here that's if I don't get stuck on the fucking torch. <laughs> that is infinitely easier to put put the uh, shards into. And the whole point behind any of this garbage is to make it easier to do things. If you make it harder on yourself, then what's the point, really, you know? Alright. We got so we gotta move all this stuff over by one. Which is fine by me. It's not like it's hard to move these pipes. It can be tedious, but not hard, at least. Okay, and then we need another joint, which... I should have one lying around somewhere because... Oh, I thought I did. Maybe I used it up. I probably used it up. Oh, I bought an, I bought extra joints. See, that's why I usually try to buy just... The leaves are back again! Yeah, like, there's already leaves on the ground here at my place. I, I, yeah, no. Like, the leaves are going to exist in my yard. I don't care enough to, to rake them. Because they're actu it's actually good for, the, you know, the grass anyway. 
for them to like decay and get into the the soil and all that fun shit. You know, like nature. <laughs> I guess right now that's just kind of the best place for the torch. Alright, so let's go ahead and just grab some soil and put it there. That means this thing should work properly now. My main goal for the rest of the stream is to get this set up and actually producing dirt and, and well, producing dirt is the easy part. Getting it to actually be stuff that you want is the more tedious solution. The way, the way it currently stands, this is going to make stuff, but it's not going to, it's not going to be sorted whatsoever and we're going to have to sort it ourselves. But there's like a little sorting machine that we can uh, buy for pretty cheap. Just kind of put this stuff where it need, where it is cuz that stuff's not going to move. That however is going to move. Let's see. Released this game on console already. Um, I, I, I honestly won't be surprised if that's what they're working on. Like, let me let's actually look. Yeah, I was going to look up, see if, uh, hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it's going to be on console anytime soon. <laughs> I am excused, thank you. Just get, get out of my way, dirt. Yeah, like the game, like the game's still. I think the game, this game is made by like, like three people or something. So like, it's it's a little more understandable that they might not be releasing it on console just yet. Then again, the thing I saw that said was talking about it not being on uh, consoles was like two years ago. So I would I was just looking up and seeing for yourself if maybe they've changed their mind on it. So or just trying to search it on the marketplace or whatever for your console. So we're going to tentative, tentatively put the, our little bucket there. Alright, let's... Okay, the, the water pressure must be off right now. 
Yep. Oh, it's working! It's working! And we can literally just leave this here and do that. And it'll do all that work we're doing for us. Ooh, there's a shard. Probably, probably grab that out immediately. There's another shard. Now, what we should probably start doing is buying more pans. So that we can store, we can like sort things out from there a little easy, more easily. How much money we got left over? Two eighteen. That's probably more enough because pans are not expensive. Yeah, we'll buy like two more of them for now. I probably should have brought my little cart with me. We'll just have to like leapfrog them. <laughs> we'll leapfrog our pans back to the back to the dig. Yeah, I I totally understand. Like when like this next coming year, my poor switch is gonna get the shock of its life. Buying more pants. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> like a good idea at first. However, you'd be sacrificing mobility. That is why I recommend two pairs of jorts instead. Well, I, I can imagine wearing two pairs of jorts at the same time would probably also sacrifice mobility. <laughs> yep, while we've been just down, uh, while we've been just running around, messing around with uh, getting these pans, not pants. Motherfucker. <laughs> you know, now that you mention it, that does that does sound about right. Shorts are easy and comfy. Exactly. Wait, did something just like miss? No, oh, no, it just made a different noise. Kind of let this run for a little bit. And let's turn this off. And then we can grab this pan, put another in its place. Make sure it's still good. Okay, cool. So now we can go sort this. We can actually sleep because it's dark and we don't have enough lights yet to easily well we can just move this one over here to sort things out all right where's our we're gonna we need to go buy more pans p-a-n-s <laughs> and if i have enough money left over maybe another one of those torches pin not pins pans <laughs> <laughs> no bully. 194. That's good enough.
Sorry about that. Ugh, sinuses suck. Anyway, at the very least, now that we have this, it's just been making stuff for us, even while I've been sneezing my ass off. Oh, we missed a... Uh, Mr. Gold there. Oh! Shit. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna just sleep. I was gonna try to tough it out with uh, help with the torches, but like, it's just too dark. Think considering my name, I'd be all about the darkness, but I need to be able to see. <laughs> now, the next thing we're buying is a, uh, it's gonna be a, uh, sorter. Which makes this whole process of doing now a lot less tedious. But I need just a little bit more money. To buy that so we're just kind of digging through this junk trying to find all the gold I mean could just do this yeah <laughs> now I can see the gold a little more easily Up our little gems. See if I can stack them. Ah! I was I was able to stack some gems earlier, and it was funny, but I think those might be just kind of too weirdly shaped. All right, so we got some gold, some gold. Nice. All right, give me a nice chunker of a bar. Heat that. <laughs> Drop. Keep that up. Let's cycle over to the necklace. Let's grind down one of these emeralds that we found. Pretty decently worth emerald for the size. Okay, let's move our gold bar over. Salt in half. And make that and let's go sell this and we'll then, we'll then buy the hand sorter and some more pipes because yeah pipes admittedly the uh, sorter doesn't really need good water pressure so it doesn't really matter well, um, apparently we're really good at it and this necklace is worth actually a pretty good amount of money, all things considered, for how much time, for how much effort we put into getting all that stuff, which is zero. And our little machine is still just cranking out more resources for us, too, while we're away doing this. So it just shows you the, just the power of having those things set up. It's like it starts snowballing a little on itself with like how much money and stuff you can make. Okay, we got 880 coins. And now we're gonna buy this hand sorter. <clears throat> and you can you can use these to like well sort your resources. Uh, I need to buy some I, I need to buy at least one uh little T pipe here. The T stands for testosterone, or 
or whatever the word is. <laughs> Probably need at least one corner as well. We'll buy one of the straights too, I guess. Ew, straight. <laughs> Those dang darn straights. Ew, straight people not in my city. <laughs> Alright, well, let's. We'll have this thing, like, over here somewhere, I guess. Hmm, <clears throat> maybe we'll have it, like, right here. Ideally, we would have this pipe a little higher off the ground so we could walk under it instead of, like, you know, bashing our skull into it like a goober. We're not worried about that right this second. Actually, you know what? I lied. We are worried about that this second. I'm going to get me some more, uh, a few more pipes. Like, probably, like, a f like, another, like, two more joints and, like, two, like, two more straights. Ugh, straights. <laughs> Okay, one, two, one, two. I wish you could make pipes. Like, at some point we'll be able to make more of these kind of drill things that we could only buy one of. But there's no way to, like, make your own pipes. <laughs> you just have to buy them. Shows up late with coffee, and the first thing is, ew, straight, so true. Hello, Haleen. We're playing Hydroneer today, which is a fun diggy game where the shovel seems dead set on getting in my way no matter what I do with it and we're 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 not at the point where we have a little little drill machine here that s makes dirt spits it into here and then apparently makes a fucking mess on the floor get get in there get in there get in there and it's just making stuff for us and yeah I I don't have this in the right spot as you can probably tell <laughs> I mean, it's doing well enough where we can kind of, because I, I see, I know what you are. <laughs> Just a little dirt clump floating midair. I'm just like, why are you there? <laughs> yeah, ordinarily when you, when you start, you have this shovel, and like this like bucket and like this pan, and you got to manually douse the pan in water in one way or another dig dirt into this bucket, pour it in there, brush it off, and then you sell your stuff. But now we're at the point where this stuff is going. It's it's producing stuff for us. We don't have to do any of the digging anymore. And what we just bought from the store is this little sorter, which will let us sort things, as, as the name implies or suggests. Oh, I forgot. We're going to be uh, raising the level of this so I can walk under be a pipe uh, let's see let me but let's get another corner okay and we'll start just moving this stuff over We'll have that there. Uh, let's see, where's our little T? The test, the the testosterone pipe, as I've been affectionately calling it most of the stream because my brain is poisoned. <laughs> my brain is poisoned. <laughs> All right, uh, let's turn you that way. 
see, I think I have another straight pipe there. Okay, so that stuff's hooked up again, so it's gonna continue doing its stuff. Our little machine down there still has a shard bar in it, so that's working. Yeah, we're gonna need at least That and I did I get another uh did I, did I not buy enough elbows? No, nope, there's another elbow just chilling out over here. It's it's called an elbow pipe. It's just it's not me being goofy saying, Oh, that's an elbow. No, it's that's that's the proper scientific I don't know if scientific's the word for it, but that's the proper term. It's an elbow. Uh doesn't Ah wait, there there was a straight hiding over here in the corner. There we go. This thing's going now. And we can filter based off of what is on this little pedestal here. So, to illustrate this, let's turn that off. Let's make sure we not got any little stray friends hanging around there. And we'll pick up this pan. Huh? Uh? Uh -huh. Me too, bestie. <laughs> and we'll replace this pan right here. Mm, maybe a little closer. Good enough. If there's, if there's, huh? Uh, uh, me too. Me too. That's just me navigating life. It's just like, huh? <laughs> okay. There's, I de there's definitely, there's, yeah. I, I've got a little bit of a mess right now. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, just iron bits crystal shards, gems all over the place, but yeah, we're gonna try to set this up how it needs to to ensure there's less picking up I have to do. God damn it. Just to test, let's grab a, a piece of gold. We'll put it here. Something, something, Digivolve. Transform! Yeah! <laughs> Digivolve. I'm not exactly a, Well, I guess I'm technically a digital monster. Oh, come on, you fucker. Come on. Don't be like this. Don't be like this. You know what? We're gonna go with that. Alright, so. Let's grab a piece of gold. And I'll put it in this thing, and it should spin it out towards that pan. Oh, that's perfect, actually. Either digital or pocket-sized. What if I'm massive? And that goes there, so we are good to start filtering out the gold. So let's just, uh... Uh, <laughs> Well, I mean... It filtered out the gold. <laughs> There's definitely gold in there and other stuff over there. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, the the bean does not necessarily have to be small. I haven't really done like a banana for scale kind of thing for the bean, but I imagine that the bean creature is not small necessarily. Alright, so we got the gold filtered out. That's cool. Well, that stuff's just gonna exist there. However, with this gold, we can at the very least uh, very quickly make something. Or at least try to. Um, yeah, I'd say they're at least taller than that. Okay. Ooh, gold bar. Nod, nod. Alright, this gold bar is. Ooh, that's a pricey gold bar already. That's gonna be nice. Let's do that. And heat it up. We'll grab a. We'll grab one of these gems over here. Let's grind up. I like these green ones because they look like rupees from Zelda. I mean, like, look at that. That's just like a rupee, isn't it? <laughs> a non-denominational rupee. <laughs> Alright, we'll just kind of... 
slide you. We're just gonna. We'll just slide you there. Well, uh, this isn't a bit. I just can't tell where the fucking line is. There it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I've had several things I'm like, oh no, that's not a bit, I'm just stupid. Uh, we'll saw that bar in half, and... BAM! Necklace! Oh, there's a, st there's a straight left in this cart. Ugh. <laughs> and we'll go sell this- <laughs> we'll go sell our necklace. <laughs> I make the- I, I think of these kind of damn things. All the time in my head when I'm playing this game. And I'm just like vocalizing, oh, there's a straight here. <laughs> Alright, uh, what's our necklace worth? 2,800 bucks. That's very good, actually. And none of that we had to actually do much effort for because we're not digging all that stuff out ourselves. Which makes it even better. So. Let's see. So with this money now, oh, I think I was going to go buy, what was I going to buy? Oh, I know what I was going to buy. It's going to be a good, it gives me a good excuse to use the truck anyway. So we're going to take our money and put it in the back of the truck. Kind of flip, flip it, reverse it. And tall, tall, slendy boy. Collect all the pages, he'll stab you with his stabby claws. <laughs> that's fair. I mean, that's kind of what cats do anyway, so it's like you collect the pages and they'll probably just do it anyway. Alright, let's just go down into the river. <laughs> that's totally where you're supposed to go with this truck. We'll drive through and, hey, we're at the town. That was a lot faster than driving normal way. But anyway, there is an item I want to buy that will help me, uh, help me out. That item is, well, let's get my money first. And that item is going to be the magnet on a stick. It's a magnet. It's on a stick. <laughs> yeah, totally. All right. Thankfully, this magnet on a stick is like a permanent like item. It's not something that like runs out. So like once you buy it, it's yours and you just kind of use it for what you're going to use it for. All right, we're going to kind of whip around like this. The vehicle's control a little strange in this game. I mean, this may, again, I think this game is made by, like, very few people, like three or so. So, like, the fact that anything, like, really works at all as well as it does is pretty impressive. But, okay, then we're going to go right up the side of the... Oh, come on. There we go. You have to get at a certain angle to really get up there very well, but... Oh, come on. Don't get stuck. These little light posts are like the devil. Like, you get stuck in them so easy with this truck, so I just try to avoid them at all costs. Alright, we'll just park over here. We'll grab our money and we'll just kind of drop it in there. Grab this magnet. And the whole reason for me buying this magnet is to more easily sort this garbage. Let's. Because currently, the way to sort that would be to just drag all this stuff haphazardly into um, the thing one by one. So let's put that there for now. But with the magnet on a stick, we can just go. <laughs> Sound effects are necessary. Just kind of put it in there, move the bucket, do it again. I mean, like, these little pans can only really hold so much before you gotta, like, use another pan. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, let's move the rest of the garbage. Uh -huh. mm? <laughs> it's so damn dark. There it is. Excuse me. Actually, I've never really thought to do that. Just like fill up one of these up and then pour it into one that already has stuff in it because stuff should stack in these. All right, I think that's all that stuff. We shall pour it in here. And same where you will pour you all on this one. Okay, that This is gonna be the annoying one to get stuff into. I think. Let's grab an iron to test it. Hmm. Perhaps that will work better. Let's try it out. Satisfactory. That's a different game. I've never played it, but I've I've heard people talk about it. Okay, iron goes there. Let's get one of these little shards. Okay, that's not close enough. Let's. A lot of this is still a lot of manual labor, as you can tell. But eventually, if you can get things set up, you can even use these little hand sword, these little sorters like this to. <clears throat> filter things without any input from you but then you still have to like grab the pan later or whatever all right that's good enough all right time for the big sort of roo <laughs> okay that worked a lot better than the last time did okay so that's iron there now and now we're gonna sort out the shards. Do I have another pan lying around somewhere? Ah, uh, I don't hear the thing working out there, so one of the things must have broken from unfiltered water. Yep. We'll just fix both of them. Because it's hard to tell, like. I can't, I don't have a magnifying glass right now, so I can't see the damage level of these. So I'll just fix both of them. It's pretty cheap to do so anyway. Now they'll just keep going for a while and making me even more garbage. Okay. Let's actually go grab this iron from over here. See, if it's already pre-sorted, it's not really that slow to just kind of snatch all the stuff. And do it that way. Damn it. Come here. Come here, you little, sh you little shit. <laughs> there we go. All that iron from over there is now with this iron. Okay, we'll grab you. And now we're gonna filter out the shards next. Mm -hmm. It's fine, I didn't put a pan there on purpose because I'll just, there's not that many um, gems compared to most of the other stuff usually. So I'm not really that bothered, and all these shards are gonna get just um, fusion danced into one big shard bar. Okay, 
I'm gonna turn that off for now. We'll grab our little shard bar here that's still currently got power. I don't know how much, it's not really a good way to tell. And we can just melt that down with the rest of our little shard friends. Oh, there's another one over here, it looks like. Don't know how I forgot that one. Is there a way to raise the gamma? Because I'll just... Gamma. Oh, that's a little too much. Let's do a, like 2.5. Okay, that looks... That's a lot better. I didn't want to raise it too much because then it'll just be all washed out and nasty looking, but that, that like makes it a little easier to see, even if it's like nighttime or whatever. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> no. At this point, I'm just going to put them in manually. Because it, it started to do a pour while I also had a... It's probably because there was something already in there. And it just like, it's like, haha, <laughs> psych! Get dunked on. <laughs> Alright, so... This should all be able to form into like a pretty chunky shard bar now, and then we can put that back in our little, a little guy here, a little pressure chamber. Turn that back on, and that'll run for quite a while longer. We got our, we got our iron here. We've got the gems. grab them we'll put them over yonder and I know I'm going a little longer than normal but the reason I usually end the streams earlier is because I can I'm allowed to do overtime at work so I try to do at least an hour of that a day but today you know what I want to do a little bit more hydroneer because <laughs> I'm just having a good time just yelling at the stuff for not working exactly how it's supposed to because of my own hubris so I want to I want to get to the point where we can use a compressor thing to just make big ass gems because that's fun. I like seeing just a big ass like sapphire or whatever. So we are going to use the iron over here that we've filtered out. Let's just make like just a big ass iron bar. And we're gonna make a big freaking sword, sell it, and then we should be able to. That should let us afford the. Uh, where's our cart at? How am I always losing this damn cart? Did I leave it over here? Well, I can see how much money I have anyway. We actually probably have enough money for the thing I want anyway, but we're gonna sell the. We're gonna make a sword anyhow, you know, whatever. Like, am I literally this blind? Where is the cart? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Uh, anyway, let's see. Uh, let's focus less on the cart. And w I might have left it up there, actually. <laughs> Who knows? I don't. We'll figure it out when we get there. Anyway, let's grab you. Five second rule, but I'll heat it up again. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll saw you. Saw, saw. Big, at, big sword. Okay. I'm almost certain that I left my cart somewhere that I shouldn't have. Not there. It's not in there. Maybe I left it up here. <clears throat> Surprisingly, no. I didn't leave it up here. I'm just... Foolish. I'm just gonna very quickly. Oh, Jesus Christ, come on. Let's not disembowel myself with this thing. Alright, more money. <laughs> Let's 
The way these coin piles look reminded me of the way like money in RuneScape and RuneScape looks whenever you've got like a certain amount of it, it just kind of stacks up to just a pile of coins. Like the resemblance is just uncanny for me. I don't know if it's like literally inspired by that, but okay, we have more enough money for what I wanted to buy. We probably would want to take the truck anyway. I just want to find my cart. Where did I put, where did the cart go? It, I'm sure, again, like with the shovel earlier, I'm sure it's in a very obvious place. I just obviously just fucking lost it somehow. <laughs> Cause I am a big buffoon. A big buffoon. It's not in here, is it? I don't know how my cart will be down here. I'm stuck. <laughs> I've been goofing off so long that it's like daytime again. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where that cart is. They give us a free map, but I already kind of know where most of the stuff is at this point with me playing the game. Yep, no idea where that card is. It might, it might actually just be at the other town. I might have like taken it, taken it there, and then like forgot. Now this is our original cart, but it's slow, so I don't want to use that anymore. I kind of, that's why I kind of like, like left it there. Um, I am just still at a loss where that other cart is. It's not here, because we'd, we'd be able to tell. So I must, I must have left it over there somewhere, or in. Like I said, literally in the middle of like, I, very obviously somewhere, I'm just, I'm just a goober. <laughs> Let's just move you there. We gotta take the car. It was, it was just so dark I couldn't see the damn thing. Anyway. We gotta, we gotta take the truck anyway to get to the other town more easily. I don't know how much faster this truck is than the cart, fast cart, but it's got, it's, it's a little faster at least. Whee! Get some sick air. <laughs> okay. It's just kind of, it's backing up still. Alright, the thing that I want to buy to cap off the stream with is going to be this logic compressor. It says logic compressor, but you can manually activate it. Uh, is there anything else I want to buy? Oh, magnifying glass would be good, too. That'll let me actually see the damage level of my machines. Uh, anything else? Actually, the, 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 the upgraded pickaxe would be good while we're here. Might as well if I've got the cash. I don't know if this shovel actually is worth it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know if it's like a, actually a like more useful shovel or not, but we're not going to worry about it right now. We'll, we'll buy another one of these, though. Now we'll start just loading the stuff in here and we'll head back to our little pl our little place where we dig in there's actually another claim that's closer to this town than that place Cause, like this place does have a drawer as well to sell stuff to and I think over off that way there is a much much bigger digging claim and next week when we stream this We'll very likely be buying that place after we get this one that we're at currently kind of set up to just keep doing stuff. <clears throat> but that that'd be stuff for lit for next week. Like I'm I'm still streaming right now because I'm not, I'm not doing an hour of overtime today. I guess my better judgment I should be because that's like real life money as opposed to like intangible Twitch money, but. 
I'm having a good time, and I think that's worth something, too. You know, big warm fuzzies, like, oh, this my, my life has value. Lol, Lameo. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's back it up. And we'll whip it around this way. I, like it's it's fun it's good it's good to have fun and to do stuff and you know enjoy your time but also I you got to keep the lights on too so there's like a, a fine balance I've been having to make with my new job and still doing twitch and not and having free time on the weekends too and all that that I've got to, had to balance and I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I've probably not balanced it as, as well as I should have. <laughs> but... That's just how it goes sometimes. So for now, we're, gonna, we're not sorting stuff at this very current juncture. So we're going to sw just swap this in. And that's fine. We'll just move that there. We are gonna grab all. We got. I think our pan of gems was somewhere around here. I thought it was. Is it right here? No. Where was it? I know we had a pan of. There it is. We had our little grind wheel. Eventually, you can automate the the cutting of gems as well, because you can have like conveyor a conveyor belt system. And that conveyor belt system can have an attachment on it that like automatically grinds any gems that pass through it. So eventually this grinding wheel will also be obsolete. But for now, it's doing it's doing the Lord's work. The Lord being me, it's doing my work. All right, so we have a few, we have a few um sapphires from earlier earlier days that are quite small I don't know if you can fuse all all your gems together that can be fused at the same time I've only really done like one at a time but we're gonna test it out it didn't tell me no oh it does work oh, look at the size of this thing <laughs> I, I love it. it's one of my favorite things about this game look at this, this big ass just rupee <laughs> And it com and I have tested it before, and it does combine the values of everything. So let's see how valuable this one big set. That's a pretty pretty decently sized chonker right there. And honestly, I'm I'm about ready to make something out of it. Let's turn that off. Let's actually grab the magnifying glass out of our. Um, Really should have parked this a little closer. There we go. That's a little closer because I want to get. Because this pickaxe here digs a lot more, a decently sized amount more dirt than previous pickaxe did. This, these coins can go over here. If there's any other, no, nope, there's no other coin. That's fine. They can go over there. Yeah, I don't mean to like give a, like a life story spiel about my new job or anything like that, but like I've definitely probably I've almost certainly not balanced my work life balance with my new job as well as possible because my new job lets me do overtime, which helps me have money to live. Okay, I ah, I see. Yeah, this thing probably uses. Yeah, I, with this magnifying lens, I can see the durability of the machines. Like, this one's a 27% durability left. This one's at 64. We'll keep our magnifying lens down here. We also should probably have our... God damn it. I almost got stuck forever. <laughs> Granted, there is a uh, unstuck button literally right here. You click it, like, kind of ports you to the nearest, like, safe spot. Quote, unquote. Now let me just show you the digging power of this thing, just like... Could not get... 
I mean, it's not much more than the, the uh, other pickaxe, but it is definitely more. Now all this dirt down here, we could be scooping it up into the buck into a bucket and like cleaning it, but this setup right here, this thing just makes dirt out of thin air, so we don't have to worry about any of this dirt really. As long as we have some dirt to put underneath those machines, that's all that matters. So I'm just trying to get the space clear out so we can move around a little more easily. <clears throat> Let's see. All right, that should be. Oh, I was gonna. I was potentially gonna like clean up this area. So if I do fall down here, I can more easily save my <laughs> save myself from. Now, ideally, I would place this whole top area around this hole with these blocks, so that I have a flat surface to climb around on. But that's not my prerogative right now. My prerogative is going to be, well, let's grab our little, these are the new, this is the new bag, I think. Let's see, there's more of them in there. And I think this one has a few less uses. We'll use that one, because now that I know that this one uses a lot less durability than this one, we'll fix this one and we'll just kind of let it do its thing. I have to get another pan down here. Ooh. Got a bit of a lag spike from picking this barrel up. It must have a decent amount of stuff in here. Yeah, like picking this up, there, there's, there's gotta be a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> All right, good enough. I just wanna have that keep going while we're doing other things. As well. Alrighty, so our little guy here, we're gonna I'm tempted to pour all that stuff in there and then that will compress all the gems and leave everything up. It's so, it's so much lag that it, like, restarted the music. <laughs> okay, now it's not working because there's stuff other than gems in there, I think. So, that idea is out the window. I was going to say, well, I can just compress all the... Oh, that's a lot. That's a... Uh, oh, that's a big blob of garbage. <laughs> oh, no. Why did I decide that was a good idea? Come on, get out of there. Come on, get. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna have to sort this mess first. Let's move you. Just kind of move you out of the way and slot you in there. Put you there so we can better see. I mean, at this point, having a bucket there to catch all that's not really worth our time because we can just glob it into other stuff anyways so mm, I don't know I could I could mm. I'm at I'm kind of at an impasse here of like what how I sort this <laughs> oh my shadow is just like -na 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 -na. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> just brain go burr ignore me I don't normally vocalize those kind of things so I'm just like Na, 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 na. <laughs> uh, where's my fucking? Come on, get, get, get it, get over here. It's this big glob of stuff that was all just in that one barrel. All right, let's. First and foremost, you don't need to go in there. You're already a big chunk of shit anyway. Like, it's just, just kind of that pour that let's move you further away so you don't get attracted by the magnet all 
I mean, admittedly, we could just, like, put that big glob of stuff in there, but it might get messy and, like, start re-grabbing the stuff that we, uh, already sorted, so I don't want to deal with that. But yeah, pouring that out there was not ideal. I should have definitely filtered at least some of this stuff somewhere. But now you get to see my hubris in live and real time. Not like y'all haven't seen it anyway. I, I do plenty of dumb shit without needing assistance. Video James Jamming Jimmy O Vames. Jimmy O Vames. You know that's my favorite content creator, Jimmy O. Jimmy O. The J he plays Jimmy O Vames. <laughs> Tis the season. You gotta like and comment and subscribe. Cause werewolves. Ooh, spooky. Oh, we have this little filter thing helps us filter things. Hello, rice milk. Thanks for stopping in. I'm streaming just a little longer today than I normally do because the reason I've been ending at 11 is because that lets me and my roommate make lunch stuff before I leave at like 12 to get to work at 1. My work is normally at 2, but they let me to do overtime at this job. So I've been doing like for the last like two months or so that I've been working at this new job, I've been doing overtime basically every single day and that's probably not good for me so I'm taking an extra hour today to do a bit more stream but yeah this is a little fi hand filter thing that we can put stuff through and we're gonna we're just we got a big mess of stuff right here <laughs> yeah I've been trying to do that overtime so that I can uh, rebuild my bank account well not my me and my roommates bank account so that we can um, St rebuild savings so that we can have not have so we can have money y yeah understandable you gotta take time when you need it and I probably just need more time to do stuff that I like to do like this so I'm taking that extra hour, an extra hour to myself today because especially at w work right now like we're preparing to do like like a big like system change at the hospital in like February so there's a lot of like stuff going on so I'm, I just need more time for me honestly okay and I, I thought I thought a little nugget escaped but it didn't so yeah thank you thank you and also you should be just saying good luck to me for sorting all this crap because it's like a lot of crap most a lot of it is just uh, the iron and gold is just uh, the ma the majority of this is just iron and gold Yeah, because uh, there, there's going to be a lot to, like, cleaning this mess up is the major part of it, but, like, but doing it this way is a lot better than picking it up one by one and doing it that way, because you'd be, like, you can just, like, you know, pick it up like this and sort it that way, but this magnet on the stick that I bought lets me just get this glob of stuff and that I open now I'm opening I might not understand what you said but that's just cuz I'm I got I got a little bit of the tism spooky <laughs> oh oh yeah I, I've, I've, I have an open version of the bean. The, the chest seam, <laughs> it, it has, I have bean teeth, and I'm planning, a, I'm, I'm contemplating adding, like, sharp, serrated teeth before the bean teeth, even, but that's not a right now thing, because I, I'm, I am a creature. <laughs> I, get in, get in there. Henri Iron trying to, like, not be in where it needs to be. Yeah, the beans on the inside are inside, but they're also technically teeth, I guess. But, like... Yeah, it, it's a mouth now. It's definitely a mouth. It's, it's just bizarreness on my part. Okay, so... We're gonna... First thing we're gonna filter out is the gold. So we'll put it on this little pedestal here. 
Now, if you have a better setup than I do, and you have, like, more than one of these hooked up, you could have gold on this one and then have like the output of everything flow to this one, out of this one, into another one, have that filter more stuff out. But right now we don't have that set up, so we're just doing it one at a time, so let's put another thing right here to catch most of the stuff. I need another pan as well, I think I have another one over here. And thankfully, with our automated setup down there, that's just making more stuff for us while we're doing this, so it's not wasted time. Oh, if you, this is not complicated yet. Because right now we have, like, one, one drill, one harvester making stuff. There's conveyor belts you can set up. There's, this is a very shallow dig, too. This is, like, five blocks down. Some of the other ones in the game are down like to 22 blocks at like different tiers. You need d better drills. Like, there's a whole like little fishing system. Next update this game's gonna have is gonna add like farming, like industrial kind of farming to it. Like, we're we're just at the tip of the iceberg with this game. This is my Wednesday game now. But yeah, let's we're gonna try try to filter this out because I might pour it and some of them might like not go in the bucket there. So. Yeah, I like this game. It's just nice. Ch oh yeah, there's this, this bucket is causing me a little, like a little bit of jitteriness. You could probably tell on stream even, or maybe not. I don't know, but like we're gonna very carefully pour this in here. <laughs> well, at least this stuff went where it was supposed to go. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I was not. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it's fine at least it's all gold so we'll just get in there get in there buddy <laughs> it, yeah it the filter works and if I would have been a little better at placing it we wouldn't have to be doing this again, but at the very least, it's all gold. You want to do any other tricks for us, <laughs> Magnet on a Stick? <laughs> yeah, the, the pouring and stuff in this game is a, a learning curve that I still have not mastered because it's like the shadows. There's like a little shadow that shows where stuff's supposed to go, but like, that's still sometimes seems like only a suggestion of what's gonna happen come on get in there get in there all right little shadow okay cool oh no no shit yeah that's why i've been trying not to get too close with this magnet on the stick thing because it can and will just Yeah, the, the, the way the buckets are, because, yeah, I, I fucked up. <laughs> go go over here. Because this thing will it does not discriminate what it grabs. If there's stuff, it will grab it. So that's why I'm trying to be, like, careful, and then I just wasn't as careful as I needed to be. So now I gotta do this again. <laughs> and later on when we have better like a conveyor system to like sort things out for us we won't have to be doing as much of this kind of stuff but we don't have that yet so we're just doing it all painfully by hand the next step to this would be to have another sorter like have this sorter like higher up and then have this output from this sorter Go through another sorter to sort out like the iron into like the shards and like the gems and all that stuff we're not there yet and i don't have enough time to do that right to do it this stream maybe next stream we can which i might just keep this to wednesdays or i might like if i don't want to if i feel like streaming again magnet on a stick yes mr Mustelid. that's it's a goofy it's a goofy idea but it mostly works Hello, how are you doing today? 
Oh, uh, we had to point away from the bucket when pouring into it to aim. Uh, not, like, you see the little sh cold? Yeah, I, I, I know. Cold, tired? Yeah, mood. But if you see, like, the little circle thing on the ground there, that's the, the kind of pour point. And it does transfer over. It's just kind of hard to see. So you kind of... And with the magnet, you kind of it's kind of weird to aim. Like, it just kind of, like, move. Like, we have some stuff over here. Like, just kind of... Like, kind of have to aim, kind of finagle it around a little bit. It's kind of awkward. It's all a little awkward to use, but that magnet on stick saves a lot of time. We have an extra gold here, and we filter out all the other gold, so we're gonna put that there. Let's put you there. And you know what? Well, well, we can worry about the other minerals later, but I want to make like just a big Actually, no part of the reason for me doing this is so I can make a big fuck off gym, but We need gold to make a, the jewelry out of it So we'll just get a big chunker of an, a gold bar. How much is this one worth by the way? I know I have a scale right here This gold bar by itself is like almost three grand. That's pretty decent for what we're working with We'll just keep that there and let it heat up. It'll just kind of be fine to just sit there and heat forever. And let's grab our little pan now. Try to position this just a little better. It's kind of like in an awkward spot because there's like a little bit of a, an, a grade or an angle or whatever. And let's see. Grab another pan. Put it there. That should be fine. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not as fine as I want it to be. Alright, that's probably, that's gonna have to do it. Now, where's our other... Oh, here it is. Alright, so now we're gonna filter out the iron. That's a gem. I, I managed to grab a gem out of there when I'm just trying to find iron. There we go. Rude. Alright, and now we're gonna very carefully pour it into here. You know what? That's better than the last time. At least some of the iron got in there, and none of the, none of that got in there. You know, you know what? Whatever. It's slightly slightly better. My aim is still atrocious, but you know what? Whatever. Cool. I'd say it's probably the, the results probably about the same. <laughs> last time. Gonna need a bigger bucket. I think there's a mod actually that does have like bigger pans and I might install just for the sake of it because that seems like fun like some of the mods for this can add some add some fun stuff but hello stick assassin welcome back I'm streaming a little extra today compared to what I normally do just because I work too much <laughs> like I work overtime like every single day most of the time so I work too much I need to have a little bit more fun so I'm taking an extra hour to myself today but thanks for stopping in. I know, uh, you came in like near the end of last last time, uh, the like tail end of last yesterday's stream. So I'm gl I'm glad you're able to come back and hang out. We're we're trying to make a big gym. <laughs> There's not enough here for me to really ah the sapphire that I smunched together was stuck in there too. We do have the magnet on a stick, and I've been using that to right my wrongs, so to speak. I mean, I'll, mm, I probably could have just left all the gems on the ground because I'm not. I'm gonna filter the shards out next. Uh, where's the iron? There's the iron. And going forward and. Oh, you never heard about? Okay, cool. Well, in that case, this is Hydroneer. I think you, I think you saw saw bits of this game yesterday when I was playing it. But you basically start with like a shovel, a bucket, a pan, a cart, and a brush, and you start by digging dirt. You put in, you put in the bucket. You pour the bucket into the, your pan. You get water into your pan either by throwing it in the river or like getting a bucket, putting water in that bucket. By also throwing it in the river and then pouring it in and then you brush it off and then you have like clean stuff and then you can sell that and start buying more stuff to help you process like we've got an anvil here a furnace a dedicated smelter for pouring out the ingots 
and then we can make stuff out of the stuff. We can make stuff out of the resources to make more money to eventually get better claims to dig at. There's also a little, there's also like a side, like, production of money thing where with fishing, what you can do, if you want to do that instead. And the next update to this game is going to have, like, farming. I'm, gonna, I'm guessing that at some point it's going to be, like, industrial-sized farming, because you have, like, all these pipes of water. It'd be a shame not to do that for, like, irrigation. But anyway, we're going to now filter out the shards. <laughs> what am I doing? The answer is I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so. We got a shard here. This is the filter part. Frankly, I don't really care. There's not probably that many shards. So we're just going to pour this in just to... Yeah, there's not that many shards. I don't mind picking those up. <clears throat> okay. Shards have been filtered out. And then these are our resulting gems. We're going to just put them all in... Actually, we can just pick you up. Move the logic the logic compressor in place. We're gonna gr we're gonna go grab our um, our grinding wheel because it doesn't need to be over there anymore. There's no point. Oh no, the magnet works on anything. Like these gemstones, they it'll work on these. I don't want to use it near this bucket because that's all the iron I very carefully had sorted out. So we'll put that over there. But yeah, like, this magnet will absolutely work on, like, the the gems, the shards, just whatever, you know. It'll, it works on any resources, it, including fish. <laughs> Let's see. Sapphire, we'll just leave that on the floor. Sapphire, just leave that on the floor. Sapphire, we'll leave that on the floor. Emerald. We'll start with the... I mean, actually, all these gems can all get compressed together. They won't, like, turn into, like, a super, like, omni-gem, but, like, all the emeralds will be, become bigger emeralds with the other ones, and it can all just be happy family. So, I... Funny enough, like, I was like, oh, I'll filter out just the ruby, and that's, like, the only ruby I have. <laughs> Ain't that fun. Ain't that funny. Haha ha game, very funny. Make me look like a f more of a fool than I already am. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we have one ruby. We do have like these ones I made earlier from compressing. We'll 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 put, add them and we'll make an even bigger gem. <laughs> Just big gem. Oh, there's. I do have another ruby over here. Do I have any other stray gems anywhere? No. Well, that's a surprise. I just, just random shit all over the floor. Oh, there is a, ooh, look at you. Okay, we, we can make a bigger ruby in that case, because we have two. Also, we have a gem that somehow just kind of didn't get the program. All right, and now we pull the lever crunk. And now we just got like a chunky-ass sapphire, a really a decently sized emerald, and a not as small ruby. See, in real life, I love, like, gemstones and stuff like that. I've always been one of the, like, you know, all the, like, kids, like, some kids just really like rocks. I'm, I was one of those kids. I still am one of those kids. I'm still one of those kind of people that just loves rock. Well, let's grab our gems. We'll drag them over. We'll just drag them on over. <laughs> We're closer to the, the, the scale here. Uh, let's see, this ruby is worth 116 coins. The sapphire is worth 285. And the root, I'm, I'm guessing this emerald's gonna be worth the most, because they're like the most common, I think. And that is a 539 coin. Quartz? Amethyst. I love amethyst. It's purple, so of course I would love amethyst. Alright, the last thing we're going to really be doing for this stream, now that we made a pretty sizable emerald. Actually, one of the things we're going to be doing, we're going to fix up our machines, because at least one of them is jacked up. Let's see, you are at zero, you are at 13, so we need to actually fix both of you. 
Alright, so that, that repair kit's gone, but now this is back to just making more stuff. See, ideally, you want to have a system where this makes things, this spits it out, and this, um, <clears throat> sorts it. Instead of having it just kind of go into a general purpose bin like that, but I don't have the means to do that just yet. But with a bit more money, we can start buying conveyor belts and having those do a lot of the things for us. But anyway, using this emerald here, we're gonna... We got a saw here that lets us saw ingots in half. Or bars. I don't know if it's... A lot of games call them different things, even though they're like basically the same thing. Like a bar of metal versus an ingot. Ooh. Alright, we're gonna heat this back up because I've just been goofing off with the, the, the big ass emeralds can I ba can I balance it on here ah uh, no ah uh, yeah stuff like that's kind of fun like just like like they get like a like a handful of rocks and they put it through like a tumbler and then it just like makes like all these different shiny rocks it's like real, pretty cool honestly all right so we're gonna take that saw this bar in half Get our, that's our construction hammer, Where's there's our blacksmith hammer, and BAM! Necklace! And that, 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 I think that metal bar is like, almost three grand itself, and the, the emerald was like 500-ish, so this necklace is worth 4,200. I like that. We're gonna go sell that real quick. And that'll be a lot, that'll be a good amount of money to springboard us into next stream, where we probably start working with conveyor belts. And we're not gonna we're probably not gonna be selling iron anymore because eventually we'll be able to use iron to make more of those like drill things like that harvester and the drill we have down there with iron that we get from out of the ground we can use that to make more of those and basically having two sets of those like doubles your resource production and as long as you got space for them and the means to, pop, to hook them up with water, like you can have as many of those as you can fit. So, so now let's. I think I have other money at the store. I do. I had like eighteen hundred. It's just combine all the money together by tossing it on top of each other. We have sixty-one hundred monies, hydro coins, whatever. And we, we could like use all this iron to sell. Well, let's see. Let's let's melt this iron down and see how heavy of iron we have. Let's see how heavy is this iron bar. 164. Excuse me. I think you need a um, an iron bar of like 300 weight to make a uh, another drill. So we're not quite there with what we need iron-wise, but next stream we can worry about that. Because that's already doing good for us, but if we could cut out the, the whole sorting garbage we did, had to do this stream, that would make life a lot easier than it already is. Cons it's considerably easier now than it was when we first started, but, you know... It, things build off of each other and it gets easier and easier to do things that you have struggled previously and I love that kind of progression in games like where things get easier and easier for you as you do more put more effort into it and it's kind of like how real life would be if it wasn't just fucked with capitalism well there's my 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 daily allotted yelling at capitalism spiel <laughs> You, you know how it goes. Fucking capitalism. Well, we got a few more minutes I can spare to, to play in the game. So we're going to buy some more uh, blocks and kind of tidy this up a little bit more. Make it a little easier to climb around. I'm not much of a spider monkey. So I need all the help I can get. <laughs> So we're gonna store here. Let's put our coins in here, and let's start just grabbing these blocks. Huh? Huh? 
Uh, uh, uh. Fine. <laughs> okay, that's just like five of them. It's like these blocks are very cheap, by the way, so they're very nice to use to like make flat surfaces to build with. Because you can absolutely just like use the dirt area, like I've been doing for like this, just hold all your stuff, but. Doing stuff with this gives you a nice flat surface to work with. Alright, I like it I like them having being oriented this way though. Is it because there's dirt or can it just it just inexplicably sometimes doesn't let you place blocks in certain places. I don't know if that's because of the dirt or just like Cause like this, th those are clipped into the stuff, so I don't understand the difference there. Maybe it was because of the too much dirt. Let's find out. Nope, just doesn't really want us to put stuff there. It seems. Huh? 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 Me too, buddy. That's 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 my reaction to not, it not letting us place stuff literally right there. Unless there's still too much dirt. Can't imagine that'd be the case though. Eh, maybe I don't know. Yeah, whatever. We'll just have to adjust. Let's move this little dinky asshole out of the way. Move that out of the way. But yeah, just the, the sheer power of having that making more Reese's <laughs> Reese's Reese's pieces. <laughs> it's just making more resources for for us while we're just fucking around with stuff like this is just great because. Previously, before I had those set up, we had to do everything by hand, which means if I was doing stuff like this, we weren't making more money. But you know, like, in a game like this where, like, you need money to, like, progress, whether for, for ill or otherwise, is, like, it's just nice to be able to still do what we need to do. Uh, I think I remember what I did last time I was playing this. I had, like, since this wasn't let me build, I guess I just elevated everything by, like, one. I should probably do that, actually. Let's... Alright. Yeah, this little hammer lets us, like, kind of secure, like, we can put, again, left click and it'll secure those in place and I won't accidentally just press E on them and move them. There we go. Well, the solution to our problem was just elevate everything by one. And now we can place the blocks almost wherever we want. Because there's actually a surprisingly high vertical limit to where you can build for this game. Considering, like, you would have to manually build with, like, these blocks or whatever. It's surprisingly high. I've, I've, I've watched people that um, play this game in very interesting ways, you could say. Um, just build like really high up with just pillars of dirt and shit like that. I'm just like, just like funny, just goofy stuff like that. But yeah, now we we can get in and out. Of the, well, we're gonna need to dig the dirt away a little bit so we have some more headroom. The idea is to eventually have this whole, like, area completely dug out and covered and capped off in these stone blocks so that we can move around up top without being, like, falling into the abyss. <laughs> For now, we've just got this that we're working with. Again, next stream we can focus on more of this stuff to get more goodness going. That's just shards. We, those shards are useful. We just they just don't aren't worth money. So what we do with these shards is you can either put them manually into the little uh, pressure chamber down there to. Oh, 
Okay, game just crashed. <laughs> well, I guess that's a good enough reason to end the stream. Game just like, mm, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thankfully, I think it auto-saves every once in a while, so I don't think we're completely um, screwed. I'm going to load it back up, though, real quick, just to check. <laughs> I just don't know how much wasn't auto-saved. If, if it, it's probably not that much, and if it is, we'll just deal with it because it's. I that was, I don't know what I did, but something about the something something happened in the game was not happy. I, like, yeah. Thankfully, I think it just literally auto <coughs> auto saved pretty recently, so. We didn't really lose anything, thankfully, but. Yeah, it's never fun dealing with. I think the last thing we did that. Maybe that's what the game didn't like, is that we were just dug too much, and it's like, no, no, no dig. Or it's like. It just didn't seem very happy that I dug some dirt. So what do I do? I dig more dirt. <laughs> Technology will not stop me. That being said, I did uh, send that bug, that crash report to whoever it may concern, so maybe that will help fix the bug. The game, so maybe that won't happen at some point anymore. Alright, but for now, that's going to be where we stop off. We Oh, I was explaining the shards and the pressure chamber stuff before the game crashed, but... This little pressure chamber here, like, uh, let me, uh, I have to go back up top to expl start explaining this, because this little water intake uh, pipe starts at 100% water pressure, and I think every single one of these other pipes, like, yeah, as it explains, decreases water pressure by 3%, so each one of these, each over, over distance, your water pressure to your machines goes down with more pipes. The important thing about these pressure chambers like this is that they restore the pressure, water pressure to the same value that the intake pipe has. And currently that's only 100% water pressure, just because that's like the baseline. But these little uh, tanks like this do um, restore it back up to 100 and then it's still not it's not a, not a, it's like 97 at this point but that's still plenty of water pressure to get have these work just fine and it goes down a little bit more for the harvester but the harvester just kind of doesn't need a lot of water pressure anyway I don't think but yeah the shards are what power this bad boy matter of fact we're gonna we're and Okay, I think the the, bit, the little bin with all of our shards are over here. Let's so you can you can either put the shards in individually. Yeah, the the pressure is not the pressure is not like a pressure thing you have to worry about blowing up with like with Sevtech, <laughs> but like um, what you call it um, it's more of a case of like water pressure like. With the less water push you have, the slower your machines work. Your because your these machines all work, run off of water. It's part of it's like kind of like the big draw for this game is like everything's like water based or whatever. All right, now we got like a much bigger shard bar, and this will last for a lot longer. And we'll just kind of eat it in there. Yep, that's the last thing we're doing today. But yeah, that's that's the last bit we're gonna be doing for for the day with this. But yep, water pressure, water is fun. <laughs> we're gonna save and quit. Go. <laughs> and that's where we're gonna end the stream for today. Again, yeah, I just wanted to have a bit more time to myself today than I normally do. 
I was just having fun with the game. But uh, that's where we're ending. Let's see if I can raid someone real fast, and then we'll do so. Let's see. We gotta put in the URL. And. Mm. Nah, I'm just getting to the stream. Bye bye. That's okay. Sleeping is also important. <laughs> uh, thanks for stopping in, everyone. Uh, I'm going to end the stream, and my next planned stream is going to be back on Monday with more Minecraft. And hopefully, I see y'all then. If not, I'll see you next time. You have a great day.